Incredible. Hello, hello, hello. All right. I don't know what's going on, everybody, and I apologize for uh, the technical difficulties, but I'm trying to bring it to you. I got some new fish for the pond. We're going to put them in. I thought you guys might like to see that. So I guess let's get to it. No more nonsense. So here's what's going on, everyone. I went down to a cool spot to pick up some tortoises today with Kyle, but I made sure I stopped at Angel's Hatchery, man. So I met uh, Paul, there you go, Paul. And uh, we're gonna be bringing you videos with Paul in not too long, um, really, really cool stuff. He's got a really amazing uh, fish hatchery. Let me get in the sun. A nice fish hatchery. And uh, he does Japanese koi and cichlids. He's down uh, south of Miami near Homestead. And so it's pretty cool, man. I was blown away by the place. And guess what else? He loves fish and tortoises. So we had a lot to talk about. I just met him today. I just kind of wandered in because I heard about his place. And uh, we started talking about tortoises. And it looks like we'll become buddies, uh, no worries. So we're going to go down there next month and do a full video, two videos from his place. So I think you guys will be psyched. But right now... Uh, let's give some shout-outs. Hi, Janelle. What's up, Louie? What's up, love? Louie Hoffman, shout-out. Angel Eyes. Hey, what's up? Elizabeth G. Hey, how you doing? I'm here. I'm glad the internet's working now. So, uh, hello, everybody. But let me show you what we got going on. So, I got these guys floating, and I learned a little bit uh, from the last time that we want to make sure that we don't take this water that's in the bags and put it in my water. Not because I'm gonna get an ammonia spike because I've got 3,000 gallons of water here. That's not it. It's just to minimize the chance of getting any kind of disease. So these guys have been soaking. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out and put them in this water, in this bucket, with um, the pond water. So this is a little bit of pond water. What Paul told me to do is put them in here let them sit. I'm gonna open the bags once they've acclimated to the temperatures. This water is right out of there. Okay, so the temperatures are the same. The fish are gonna go in here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let them out so they can get used to the pond water that's gonna mix with the water they came out of. All right, so we're gonna acclimate the fish nicely and then I'm gonna net them out one by one and we'll put them in the pond. Uh, but before we do that, I also have a new little buddy here. We got a new, we got a new side neck, another male. I needed another male, so we got a new boy here. What's up, Tessa Miles? Uh, so there you go. So I think all you fish guys are gonna be happy that I'm now doing things the proper way. But now with turtles, guys, you know, I'm, I'm just going for it, okay? He's a turtle, he's gonna walk in. Go on, and see you later, man. Enjoy the girls. All right, so there you go. So turtle turtle gone so i i think i'm starting to get into fish which is just as if i needed something else to love on earth but that's the fun thing about being here on the planet you get to get involved and learn new things and i love learning new things and so that's what we're doing today so some of the animals that i got all right let's look um you know I, you'll have to forgive me i forgot some of the names but we have two snow whites in there we've got some yellow lab fish three of those we got some Devoise, we got some electric blues, we got all sorts of cool stuff, so let's pull them out. Uh, let's start seeing them. Look at this, guys. This is the first one, and Paul tells me these are some of the best kept secrets in cichlids. Uh, these guys, I believe they're the Devoises. Let me see, I'll double check. I'm gonna put them in, we're gonna let them out. We're gonna put them in there. I have to double check. These guys eat algae, so I'm pretty excited, excited because he says that they are serious algae eaters and they're really gonna go off and do a number on the algae in this pond. So I'm gonna put you guys, I gotta, I'm gonna kinda have, you're gonna have to bear with me in this live because it's kinda hard to do this with one hand, but I might be able to, let's see. We double bagged it. So I'm gonna go ahead, they've been soaking for a while since I started the video, oh gosh. Oh, that's, that's a fail. Hmm, hey mom, hey mommy. Could you please get me uh, the scissors? Thanks, Ma. It's always cool when Mom's around. Yeah, so my mom and dad are still here, and um, hopefully she'll help me out, my little mommy. 
Uh, let me flip it. So anyway, yeah, so uh, there you go. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the shout out, Louie. Uh, yeah, I should get a tripod. This is my iPhone I'm on right now. You, there's all sorts of things I've got to get, people. Thanks, Mom. Here we go. No, you can talk, Mom. It's okay. All right, Mom doesn't want to be on camera. She doesn't want to talk. She's shy. Now, now, my friends, I don't need a tripod. You know what I need? I need this chair right here. So you guys stay right there, okay? Oh, this is perfect. We can all hang out. Hey, and I can see his. So, all right, I'm going to let first out one of the boy. I think I'm saying it right. Look, I might not be saying it right, but you know what? I don't mind learning. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put him in. And this way, he can kind of get used to his new home. So let's get the mate, because I got two. See that? I got two of them. Because, hey, I'm like a regular Noah's Ark over here for fish. Uh, let's do it. We're going to let this one out. And then as I net them, I'll show you. I will show you. But we're going to let these guys stay in here for about five minutes. And the other thing is, guys, I'm going to add all the fish to this bucket. They're all going to go in the same pond. They're all from the same breeder. Um, they were all, you know, kept in really nice conditions. So I'm gonna put them all in right now, okay? There you go, here we go, here we go. So here's the male electric blue. Look at that thing. Is that guy crazy looking or what? So excited about that. The females don't look as colorful. The males keep the color and that's what I was learning today. Uh, for those of you like me that are new to this, the males seem to be keeping their colors. The females are a little bit more drab, similar to some bird species. Um, so, wow, wow, you gotta look at this. Come over here. Can you guys see how insane the electric blue is? Can you see that? That's gonna look great in the pond. So I'm really excited to have gone down there today and um, learned a bit. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna do a whole video, two videos, one on his tortoises and we're gonna do one on what he does with fish because it's incredible. It's called Angel's Hatchery. Uh, you can search them online, angelshatchery.com. It's really cool stuff. So now this is kind of the, the group of community fish. Oh, so we got some yellow labs, some snow whites, and we even have baby, uh, the baby Dubois, Dubois. Uh, they have the little like spots on them. So I wanted to get a bunch of fish just to bring the pond alive, you know? So they've been, like I said, they've been hanging out, getting acclimated for the last 10, 15 minutes. And now we're going to just go ahead and start to let them acclimate to the pond water so they can kind of taste it, get used to it, and just adjust. So now I'll pick you guys up uh, and uh, just show you guys what's going on, man. Uh, what's up, NRC470? Thanks for watching. Uh, so check it out. Here are some of the fish. These are some of the cich uh, cichlids. And uh, there's some of those yellow labs. And we've got the fish right there with those spots. You see those? Those are the babies of these. So we're going to have a bunch of these algae-eating fish, which is pretty cool. When I went in, when I watched, uh, when I saw them in their, in their tank uh, at the hatchery, there was no algae at all. They, they just eat it all. Look at that electric blue, though. Oh, man. How fun is it going to be just to hang out at this pond and watch these fish swimming around, man? So these guys, I'm um, pretty excited. I uh, can't believe it, uh, but while we're, we're waiting for these guys to kind of do their thing, I can answer some questions for you if you want, so I'll be on the lookout for questions here. Uh, I just want to show you guys what's up. So, uh, pretty excited, man. Uh, how's Tom Cutfield cichlids? They're good. Tom uh, was going to give me some, but I just wanted to make sure that I saw some. Uh, I wanted to learn, you know. I mean, obviously, you know, some of you guys that watched the last cichlid video, you know, pointed out some mistakes, some newbie mistakes that I made. Um, definitely doing it the right way. It only takes one time. So thanks to you guys that were cool. Listen, guys, when we're learning something, there's a way to be cool. Like if you want to teach me something, I'm down. Um, and that extends to everyone. I think you guys need to have a really nice way of saying to people. Some people just like to show that they know something and you don't. So they kind of you know, they, the way they go about teaching is not really teaching. It's more like yelling. So um, anyway, I learned. I went to the source. I went to a breeder, which is the best thing to do. 
and uh, now here we are. Uh, Fly River is still missing, but look at these fish. Can you imagine this? Imagine them in here, man. It's going to be so amazing. I've got a really cool, uh, you know, s ecosystem that's being set up. Uh, someone asked me just now if I had any mosquito problems, and no. Uh, I put a lot of, I don't know if we can see them. Um, and that was another thing. Everyone thought that, like, that I was just going to feed the cichlids uh, the guppies, and that's not the case. The guppies are in there. If they get eaten, that's the way of the wild here. But I'm not feeding the cichlids exclusively the guppies. I will be feeding the cichlids cichlid food, pellets, algae. I just like to have ecosystems where if I'm not home for a day or two, I know that, you know, nature is taking its course. So that's what's going on. There's a lot of algae here. It's a large pond. And already my fish in this pond, can you guys see them? They already have gotten used to me and they know that I bring them food. So I'm super excited about that as well, that these fish are already becoming more and more gregarious. And some of you also said, hey, Kenan, you should get some tilapia and throw it in there. Well, that was one of the first fish I actually put in there, man. I actually had some uh, tilapia from my big pond and I put some babies in there. So there you have it. Um, but here's the pond, uh, the, the water, uh, let's see, someone asked me a question, Alpha 207. Thanks so much, man. Uh, the filter is here, man. I'll give you a quick look. Right in there are two pumps and a skimmer with a filter pad. It sucks the water in, it runs underground and comes up through the bottom of a preformed waterfall filter with pads and bio balls in it. It then comes out, runs through the rocks, creates aeration in the water and flows back into the pond. And then all the rocks kind of act as a filter as well. So there you go, man. Uh, look at those fish, man, I'm freaking out. What do you say we collect a couple? I think it's been long enough. I think we're gonna take some and put them in, all right? Sound good, guys? You guys ready? Oh, I enjoyed meeting Paul Cuffo. Yeah, we're gonna have some collaborations with Paul. I don't know if he put his um, video up yet, but Paul lives literally a stone's throw from me and I didn't even know it. So I'm uh, really excited to meet him and uh to do a collaboration he came over and i'm gonna bring him with me to the fish hatchery because i know he'll love it so in a few weeks he's gonna come down and uh he's gonna be on one of my videos so it's pretty excited uh so let's put you guys down i'm gonna need my uh other hand all right so you guys chill right here okay so there you go i'm gonna grab my net and what do you say we pull them out i think these guys are ready to go in stoked Let's see, we'll try and do it one at a time. I don't want to stress the fish out too much, but let's, let's put that electric blue in. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty cool. So here he is. All right, I'm gonna be quick, guys. So there he is, there's the electric blue, and we're gonna go put him in right now. Let's put him in. Here he is, here he is. Oh my God, come on, little guy. There he goes and right into the rock. Awesome, love it. There he is, Electric Blue. Electric Blue, it reminds me of an old movie called Breaking Two, Electric Boogaloo. Anyone over 35 years old may know what the heck I'm talking about. I used to pop and lock, I'm serious. Uh, anyway, so that's the first fish in the pond, loving this. And for those of you who don't believe me, you might wanna just what do you say? I used to break dance. There you go. I was born in the uh, 70s. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, that was a good flick, Mr. Backstab. You know what I'm saying? But I, could, I used to do the tick, too. Yeah. All right. I got to show off some of my old school popping and locking. Um, now, let's grab another fish. What do you think we should go with? I don't know. Maybe we can get lucky and get a couple fish in here. But you know what? Let's get the female electric blue. All right, so I'm gonna get go for the female electric blue. And what's so cool about this is I'm learning about these fish, which is exciting. It's always exciting to learn about something new. Where'd she go? No, nope, that's not her. That's not her. I got some of the yellow lab. I wanna get, oh, okay, she's in the corner here, guys. All right, I got it. I actually got a bunch of fish in here. So we're gonna be quick, okay? I'm gonna flip you guys and, up uh, oh, one more time, flip yous, 
flippies for real. Okay, look, here they are. We got a few in here. We got a Snow White. We got a Yellow Lab. Two Yellow Labs, it looks like. We got, we got, we got uh, two baby, we got two baby uh, Dubois. I believe I'm saying that right. And then right in the middle, that big fish, right there in the middle of the Snow White and the Yellow Labs, that is the female electric blue. All right, so here we go. Let's put some of these colorful fish in. Oh my gosh, look at this. I am loving this right now. Here we go, guys. Get on in there. Get on in the pond. Say hello. There they go. They're going in. And I will get to questions here in a minute, guys. I'm just kind of... Yeah, Beat Street, you know what, Danny Cervantes? Beat Street was more my jam. You know why? Beat Street, Beat Street the king of the street. Yeah, so Beat Street was dope because I'm an East Coast guy. I was down with the East Coast breaking. Okay, you follow me? There you go. Uh, all right, we still have a few more fish. Let's get um, let's get one of these big adult the boy in here. All right, and a, and a, we're also getting a, a Snow White or a, yeah, Snow White in there. And here comes another Du Bois, and some like you know some of the fish I got were just basically um, some of the fish that I got were also some were of a high a high a high color, more pure color. Uh, others were just, I just wanted to add different color in the, in the uh, pond. So some of these fish are, you know, I guess, I don't know what the term would be, like just a better quality of color. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. I'm going to uh, flip the camera. There you go. So you can see them. But there's the adult, the boy, uh, Snow White, and some more yellows. Okay. Oh, my gosh. These guys are making noise. They're making splashes. There we go. There they go. Everyone's in. Oh, it's so rad. This pond is on point. So stoked. All right, there they go. Uh, they're gonna. They're just gonna wander around, get used to the pond. Loving it. Loving it. Are you guys having fun out there or what, man? Ah, oh, cool. Paul did the video. I didn't even know Paul put the video up. I'm gonna have to check out Paul's video. So uh, let's try and get the rest of these fish in and hurry this along so I can answer questions. There they are. We'll let the fish swim into the net, into the net. The final fish. There they are, guys. That's it. There they are. We got the yellow labs. We got the baby Du Bois in there. Um, so here we go. This is it. The last of the fish, everyone. All right. That looks good. They're in. They are in. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So now we just got to relax and hang out by the pond and I'll answer some questions. We'll let these fish go ahead and cruise around. Hi, Kimmy Crafts. You've been saying hi for a while. They are all in. We got all the fish in over. Uh, very cool. So you guys saw Paul's video. Did you guys like Paul's video? Uh, Paul's a great guy, man. He's a young fella. He's doing some cool stuff. Um, really, really enjoyed hanging out with him because he got stoked. He's like me. He gets stoked on animals. Uh, he's pretty excited. Uh, his YouTube channel is just blowing up right now. Seven months, 150,000 subs. So super stoked for him. And he lives so close by that I think we'll be showing up in each other's videos. And certainly when I have fish questions, he's one of the people I'm going to be going to. Uh, he loves to fish. He's got fish. And we're going to help build him one of these ponds in his yard. The Aquascape guys are going to come down and do that as well. So I'm pretty excited, man. Uh, all right, man. Very cool. So the other thing, let's let's flip it. I'll read your comments. You guys can look at the uh, pond while we're reading. Uh, I don't have any pink belly side necks available right now, but there is the pond. The fish are starting to swim around in it. I don't know if you guys can see them yet. We're kind of far away. They're going to be exploring this uh, habitat. I'm very, very excited about this. I wonder if I can zoom in. Yes, I can. Look at that. I can zoom in on the old YouTube. Uh, Claude Harper, I've had Western Painteds. Uh, there may be a few Western Painteds in my pond, but I haven't seen them in a little while. Let's see. What I do have are some yellow labs swimming towards the skimmer. Stay out of the skimmer, guys. Get away from the skimmer. All right. They're going away from the skimmer. Very cool. Uh, don't have any snails yet. Um, you know... But I'm sure there'll be a few living in there. Uh, I think we have a pretty good amount of cichlids right now. I think this pond can, um, I think the pond can actually 
sustain a few more. I don't want to overdo it. Here's a Snow White. There's a Snow White. See it? I got some small ones. So these guys will get bigger. Look at it. It's chasing a little guppy. Awesome. Can you say awesome, everyone? Uh, Andrew Flores. Of course I have leopard tortoises. Oh, no, none available to sell right now, though. Um, no leopards available to sell. Uh, yeah, all right. Somebody asked a good question. Who was that? That was Mike Narcone. Asked, how long till Kyle's pool is ready for more swimming with? That's a great question. I was just with Kyle all day long. It looks like the pool will be ready sometime in June or July. So we've got a little bit to wait. But I can tell you that that is going to be the ultimate swimming with pool. If you thought it was great before, you have no idea what is coming. So pretty stoked on that, guys. You'll be uh, really excited to see. And you won't believe, you will not believe what Kyle and I are going to be doing. Um, I mentioned the sanctuary. There's some big news there, but I'm going to wait for an official announcement because I think you guys are going to be blown away. And um, I was blown away when he told me today, and it was extremely humbling, but I'm not going to give it up yet. You guys are going to have to stick around because all I can say is that there will be a place for you guys to come visit me and Kyle and see some of our animals. We are going to uh, blow this thing up, and it's all because of your guys' support and your interest and your love of animals. So you're going to be really pleased. So all I'll say is you'll be able to come to South Florida, and I might be able to give you guys tours. So I think you'll be pumped. Uh, let's see. Yeah, classic gentlemen, we're going to get a, a white shark, carcaridine carcaridus or something like that. Why not? Uh, no, there'll be no uh, white sharks. Maybe a bull shark, baby. We'll get a bull shark pup and put it in here. Does that sound fun? Uh, all right. Would koi die in a frozen pond? If the pond is not deep enough for them to overwinter in, koi are a temperate fish so they can take cool temperatures as long as the pond has some section of the surface that is actually, um, that is actually uh, not frozen over and it has to be deep enough. Uh, but guys, I just noticed a bunch of the fish swam over here. A bunch of them just like a whole crew. Like they got like a whole gang hanging out already. So they swam over here. You can see them by the waterfall. You see that, guys? Pretty stoked. So uh, they, they swam over here to the waterfall. They look like they're happy. These guys have schooled together. They're learning their fish arithmetic. They're learning how to uh, fish, read, and write. And they're enjoying the pond already, exploring all the areas. There's the electric blue. Look, people. Oh, my God. Break into electric blue. So sick. I love it. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, everybody. I'm loving fish right now. It really changes the dynamic of the pond. So uh, pretty stoked. Uh, I'd say you want to go somewhere. The pond should be at least three foot deep so it doesn't freeze solid, you know? Pretty, pretty important. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we got? Uh, we'll not be at the Repticon in Orlando. Yeah, Shannon, I got some fish. Uh, can I get more enduring closures, Texas? Hello from Tr Texas, from Trinity and who? Trinity and Trinity and Shelby. Hi. Hi, Trinity and Shelby. Uh, any suggestions for a turtle for the UK? Water turtle? Yeah, man, you got to get some painted turtles. European pond turtles are cool. They're probably easily available where you're from. Those are pretty awesome. Uh, it can get cold, but I run. You see the hose behind me right there? The hose is in the water tonight. It gets turned on. I let it run for a few hours. It trickles in and it keeps the whole pond warm. But in the meantime, people, look at these fish. Look at them exploring. They're exploring. Fish exploring. There's a Snow White and Yellow Labs. And look, and even a guppy is, there are a couple guppies that are hanging out. There's safety in numbers, kids. Safety in numbers. Uh, awesome, man. So we're doing well. I'm loving the pond. Uh, these guys are happy. These fish seem to be exploring and checking out their new home so uh, i hope you guys are digging these live videos they're just for you for us to get in touch with each other and hang out uh also everybody don't forget don't forget to subscribe to the camp ken and army channel uh, i think that's uh, a lot of fun there's a lot of videos going up you can also if you're a patreon supporter please ask more questions we have another uh ask camp ken coming on Saturday so you guys got to ask more questions we need more questions over at the patreon site that's patreon.com slash camp Kennan and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel there you go uh, the fish don't seem to be or the turtles don't seem to be interested in the fish uh, the turtles are very well fed 
So I'm not really worried about them. Look at these fish. Look at, wait, hold on, this is awesome. These fish have swam up into the shallow area. I love it. They're utilizing all the habitats. Look at this, they can swim up into there. That's pretty cool. I like seeing that they're going all over the place. I hope you guys think this is as exciting as uh, I do. I kind of think this is pretty rad. My parents probably think I'm a lunatic, but again, they've been listening to this for about 43 years. So there you go. So we got, hey, I'll tell you what, before we leave, let's dump this water back in. We're gonna dump this water. Well, wait a minute. No, we can't dump that water back in. If I dump that water back in, it's got the water from the bags in it. So we'll leave that water and I'll dump it somewhere else. I almost did a mistake. I almost had every fish keeper in the world pounding away at the keyboards and we don't want that. But um, anyway, what else do I want to do? How about we throw a little fish food in there? Yeah, I'll dump the water by a tree, Rodney. Thank you, dude. I caught myself, you know? I'm not a smart man, but I know what dirty water is. All right, I'm a little, a little mental today. Jenny's a bit my, uh, let's see. I don't know if you guys know that either. Uh, you have a real habitat. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Pat, you have a real habitat. It isn't a tank, it's part of the land. It's rad, I would be excited too. Thanks, Pat. I get excited. I'm kind of enjoying this whole little ride around the universe on our planet. I'm, I'm having fun and uh, you guys can have fun too, man. So nothing I'm doing, any of you can't do. How about we take some Aquascape pond pellets here. We open it up. Uh, I know some of you, like I said earlier, some of you were concerned that I wasn't going to feed pellets. Now, obviously, these, these are probably more for koi, but there's all the fish. Watch this. Let's throw it in there. And then you'll start to see the water boil with fish eating. I don't know. Maybe not. Gee, there you go, guys. Um, how you doing? Um, okay. Uh, anyway, did you find a turtle that someone took or is missing? I did not. Do I have any to be redfoots? They are sold, but I have more hatching. Uh, what's up, tall traveler? Man, I'm stuck here in Saudi for nine straight months. Can't see my kid that whole time. I don't get to skip any of the heat. Ha, ha, ha. Bummer, dude. Thanks for being over there, though, tall traveler. I'm stoked that we can bring you a little bit of joy while you're out there in the Middle East, protecting the country, doing your thing. Stay safe out there. I, I am just stoked on the fact that you always are able to join us, man. You've been here for a while, and you know I love you, brother. So thanks a lot for chiming in, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. Slinky, I'm not going to make it over to Slinky today, guys. Sorry, Slinky's locked away because it's a little bit cooler today. Uh, thanks, man. It is a clean pond because I'm using that Aquascape design. They hooked me up with all the best products they make, and we've created a really nice ecosystem. Uh, Camp Cannon, where'd you get all your cichlids? That because I have a pond like yours, and I want, there you go, see, they're eating. And I want to put some cichlids in it. Uh, yeah, go to, I'll show you right now. I like these guys, man. Um, they were very knowledgeable. They spent them some time with me. I'm going to go back and see them again. But um, I went to Angel's Hatchery. So if you guys are interested, go check out Angel's Hatchery. All right. Paul's his name. I don't know if this is backwards. Hold on a second. Uh, I don't like that. Okay. Angel's Hatchery. Okay. Angel's Hatchery. He's also a tortoise guy. He's got some cool sulcatas if you're looking for a sulcata at the moment. Uh, there's his phone number. Here is his place. His name's Paul. But you uh, do me a favor. Tell him Camp Kennan sent you. All right? And that we are going to be doing a uh, really cool video with him. So uh, go ahead and let him know that you saw, you saw his fish go in my pond. And there's, look at this, guys. Here's another fun little, how about a... Uh, how about a little pink belly waking up when he smelled the food? Toxic Dutch, what up? We'll do more ZooMed videos. We're heading out to California in July. So we're going to hook up with our friends at ZooMed and we'll do some more videos and maybe do some more setup videos showing you what their new products are and how to set them up. Uh, so that'll be fun. I love visiting ZooMed. They love their animals. So the fish are kind of waking up and smelling the food. Turtles are smelling it. We got little fish swimming everywhere. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's amazing. Oh, here's another thing. Um, I'm goofy too. Uh, so someone was asking me about my hat. This is an Akubra. Oh, orientation lock. Sorry. Here's an Akubra. All right. This is the golden spur style. But the bad news is, guys, unless you're in Australia, you cannot get this hat. I had my buddies from Critter Cam 
send me this hat. But if you guys, if you guys, uh, uh, that was funny. If you guys want an Akubra hat, you got to go to davidmorgan.com. They have many styles of Akubra similar to this one. Uh, so you guys can check them out at davidmorgan.com. They sell Akubras. But tell them Camp Kennan sent you. All right? They don't know who I am, but I want them to. Anyway, oh, see the fish? I guess, guys, I'm going to hang out here and just chill with the fish for a little while and enjoy uh, my pond. I appreciate you guys being there. Thanks so much for everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to be nice to each other. And don't forget, if you see someone doing something incorrectly, you get a lot more good feeling from being positive with those people and teaching them the right way with positivity than negativity. Just a thought. And I didn't freeze. So, all right, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye to you all right now. I'm not going to stand on my head, Danny. Um, but I do have friends that can do really good head spins. I was more of a popper and not really into, uh, you know, the actual breaking. But thank you very much, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you all later. There's the pond. I'm going to enjoy it. Enjoy your weekend, and I will talk to you all real soon. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Mwah.